Welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we're gonna have a look of how to generate and BOM bilingual materials in SOLIDWORKS. In order to generate a BOM, we need an assembly file. So the first step is to create a drawing view. Let's go to the blank page icon, drop down menu, and select make drawing. Select the A4 ISO, OK. From the view palette command, I have to use one of these views here. Doesn't matter if it's the right, top, or left, any view will work absolutely fine. So let's take the isometric, click and drag. In this case, here the drawing view is too small for me, so I'm gonna increase it a little bit. Use custom scale and change the ratio. It is fine. Okay. So the next step is to select the drawing view by clicking once on it in order to activate the BOM process. So click once. Once it's activated, I have to go to the insert, tables, drop down menu and select bill of materials. As you can see on the left hand side, you will be notice a variety of options that allow you to modify or generate the BOM. I'm going to get in detail of the BOM types in another tutorial. But for this tutorial, I recommend the parts only because it's giving you a better, a better view of what's going on there. The parts only is giving you a clear view of each single component that your product consists of. Don't worry if you didn't pick the right option, you can always go back and modify your options again and again. So once you select this, select OK. So now you are ready to locate your bill of materials table. Click anywhere you want to locate it. So this right here is a building of materials table. As you can see, this table is free to move. If you want to have it fixed at a specific location, you have to set an anchor point around the datasheet format. This can be done by right clicking on the graphic area and select the edit sheet format. Now you can go to any corner you wish to locate your BOM and right click on it. Right click. Let's go to the top left hand side corner and right click on it. And select set as anchor, drop down menu and select bill of materials. Select OK here. Right click on the graphic area and select edit sheet. Go to the building of materials table, left click right here and set a check mark to attach to an anchor point. And here you can choose where exactly you want to locate your building of materials table, but in this case we select the top left corner. So we we'll select OK. So as you can see right now, the table is fixed at a specific location. You can adjust the columns if you want, make it bigger or smaller. You can adjust the rows. as you wish. 
description and quantity. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Next tutorial, we're gonna have a look of how to generate balloons annotations. Balloons annotations will help you to have a better understanding of each single component that your product consists of in relation with the building of materials. Thanks for watching. See you next time.